Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Today I'm going to talk to you about the Lonely D12 die and, and what can you do with this thing. And I'm going to talk about uh, thief skills or specialist skills again. You know, I made a video talking about, um, you know, what I wanted to do in terms of like what's the most uh, doable thing. Uh, and I was leaning a bit towards a D20 system, you know, percentage or D20, but D20. Um, and the only reason I really was leaning towards that was because you could use the ability score modifiers. Um, and I think I, I kind of, you know, was leaning towards that just because of my first edition roots. And of course, in, in D20 systems, uh, per se, you use that. But it's not always necessary. It can be a little bit messy. Um, so I was, I was looking again because, you know, I haven't found the right players and, and real life has been interfering with actually gaming. Uh, but it's tough to find the right players, too, believe it or not. I'm sure you know what that's like. Um, but I was, I was thinking a little bit about a D12 system. There are some advantages to that. Uh, first of all, is you get to take that die out of the box and use it. Uh, the second thing is, you know, if you're not familiar with the Lamentations of the Flame Princess skill system, it's a really great skill system. Super simple. There's eight improvable skills that specialists can improve in. Nobody else gets to improve in skills in that game, but I'll talk about like an option uh, in a moment. Um, so one of those skills is actually Sneak Attack. That's the only really weird one uh, where um, it, every time you add a pip to that D6, um, the first time you do it, you get an additional plus two to your attack bonus. So it'd be your, your, your thief sneak attack a bonus. So backstab is plus four instead of plus two now. Uh, regular sneak attack is plus two. Uh, first time you do that, now your damage is times two, like you would think of in, in like basic or first edition. Next time you add a pip, now it's times three. Max is out of times five. Max is out of times five because in each of those skills, those eight improvable skills, you start out with one D6 pip. You have a one in six chance of being able to do this. Uh, and uh, with the exception of sneak attack, which is handled kind of differently, but you still use a D6. You, at first level, you get four additional pips to assign wherever you want. So in four of those skills, you now have a two and six chance. Uh, at uh, every other level, after that, you get two. Uh, so you have two more of these little D6 pips to assign. You max out entirely at 19th level, I think, is, is what it mathematically works out to be. If you have a six and six chance in a skill, uh, that means you, uh, if you roll a six, then you have to roll uh, another d6. If you roll a six again, that means you fail. So for the most part, you're pretty darn good at something you have a six and six chance in. That's pretty neat. But I was thinking, well, use a d12, it can be a little bit more granular. You know, um, with something like sneak attack, you'd have to put two d12 pips in at a time to actually get another bonus. Everything else, you can put one d12 pip. So you go up a little bit, you know, like eight and some odd percent instead of 16. So you can spread them around a little bit more and customize your thief a little bit more or kind of flatten things out if you want to. And then for a faster rate of advancement, well, I'm thinking, well, instead of giving them eight D12 pips at first level and, and four um, thereafter to mimic the, you know, mathematically what you would do with D6, how about you give them 10 at first level and then five thereafter? So then you max out at about, uh, I think it's like 16th level, which is a lot closer to what basic would max a thief out at. The other thing that does, if you want to uh, maybe let the other classes have a little bit of improvement in skills, maybe at first level they each get two and then every other level they get one. So that's like one-fifth of the uh, rate of advancement of a specialist or thief. That's even less than something like D20, where I think it's like one-fourth, where I think I think the guy gets like eight every level and everybody else gets like two, something like that. So it, it's it's less uh, less generous, but it kind of, you know, still lets the thief or specialist shine. So I kind of, you know, I, I vacillated back and forth for a long time, and I, I think I'm leaning more towards the D12. Um, and just not using the ability score modifiers, which it sounds like, you know, heresy to some people. But, you know, that basic didn't use them either and never broke the game. So, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of liking that D12 system. And then you get to roll the D12, which is a really cool die. And Pythagoras thought it was really cool.